God, how stupid could you be? They could live normally in the Commonwealth and Diamond City as humans. Instead, you pull them out to a place filled with synths, by the way. Which makes you a huge target. A very huge target. Hello, guys, and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. <clears throat> Just got my throat. Very good, very nice. Uh, anyway, things went very crazy last time. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm happy that's over. Yeah, we're gonna head back to uh, Far Harbor, the uh, the little shore town on this island, and uh, then we'll see how things go. I still don't know what the actual island is called. Defend the Visitor Center. Oh. Okay, I see. That was the other settlement we had, huh? What is it? Don't think you can defeat me, super mutant. You got nothing. You aren't even the enemy I'm supposed to defend, are you? Uh. Ow. I hurt myself again. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel. I'm gonna make you a supply line to start light driving. And then I will make a generator. And I will make a recruitment station thing. Uh, now be careful. Okay, that's not, not active. Good. Because I'd rather not have you die on me now. Was it swallowed a piece of hair or something? God, the, the pain of having animals. <clears throat> Let's get rid of that bed and build some beds instead. I hope this guy doesn't mind that I heard his uh, little table place and stuff. No, he doesn't need it, right? Can move it so. I like these though, they're good. This place is so broken. Are they on the other side of the... they are, then they shouldn't be a big problem. Unless that hurts. You know, turrets aren't as good as I was hoping they would be. They're not normal turrets, anyway. Where do we have the super mutant? Yeah, they are over here, then. Where are you? My frame rate is down to 30 FPS. One of them has a gun that I uh, don't really want them to have. What gun might you be using, my friend? The range master. Here you go, have it back again. <laughs> you can use it as long as I am not here. Oh, is this another place that was, like, ripped down? I can fix this. Oh, I thought I could fix this, but it doesn't snap anywhere. Oh, no.
Best way to fix this is to turn it around like this. Well, that is not good. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Maybe the trees are what's killing my FPS, so I'll just remove some of them. Don't know if the trees are actually the reason why, but... I can do it anyway. So I can't build for condensers, but I can... They're just here by default. They could build after I take over a settlement. It would be cool if I could build them in the Commonwealth too. I have a big space here. Wow. Don't want to get rid of that hedge, though. That could be protective. Don't mind getting rid of these trees, though. It's interesting to see how a place where the bombs did not drop uh, evolved into this. The size is almost already halfway. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's get rid of some of these trees, you know? We don't, we don't need a bunch of these weird-looking trees. Just make them fall down. We destroy them, is what we do. Come on, I just need to get the right angle. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, so the trees I thought I couldn't remove, they might just have been in a bad angle. Oh, well, it's fine. This should be good enough, right? That'd be my FPS better anyway. <laughs> That's kind of what my, my goal was there. Anyway, we continue. Oh, this hotel again. Hope the robots are doing okay after that whole murder thing going on. Oh, so, sorry, the people that turned into robots. I went the wrong way. Uh, so this goes over there. Okay, I just need to head straight this way. Then I should be fine. Yep, this way. <sighs> now, I do want to go over here at some point uh, with Nick. Just to see how Nick would react to see another scent that is not killing everyone. Uh, because I know there's a scent there. 
Like a, a guy synth or whatever. Is it called Nima? I don't remember what his name was. Uh, I don't, we haven't seen him in this Let's Play, but but I, he had a name that I that I know. Anyway, I'm back again. I got your Myrler carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct tape, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Listen, I'm sorry for chewing your head off about asking about my condition. Not used to talking about any of this. The whole island's falling apart. So many dead from the fog, the crabs, or whatever. And I just keep wondering how many good weeks I have left. Three, four, two. Do you have any pain? Are you in any pain? Doc's given me something to treat most of the symptoms. Having a hard time keeping everything down, though. My energy level's not quite what it used to be. And it's only gonna get worse. Uh-huh. Well, just take it easy. You should take it easy. As long as I got the strength, I can't waste it. And to think, before the news, I was powerful close to tossing the whole lot off my docks. But afterward... I want no point in defending my land. Let them come, I guess. And now watching them all squabble instead of lending a hand? Hell, a single finger to help. Don't they realize that all the bickering for just a little bit more is a waste of breath? They should come together, when you know? When times get tough, a community should come together. I used to think the captain was an idealistic fool. But on this side of the road, after I get the carapaces installed, there's one last thing I want to do. You've been a real friend, Rugas. If you're willing to see it to the end, well, gotta get to work. Defenders of whom I'm not interested in this gun. I'm gonna be honest with you there. Huh. We must be doing pretty well if you're willing to leave Old that. Longfellow behind. knows what he's about. Yeah, I guess he does. Um Okay. Bait shop's got everything you need. What else do I need to do here? There was someone else I need to speak to. Return to small Bertha. Oh yeah, small Bertha, yes. The family legend has it in hail from Yorkshire. I cleared the lumber mill for you. We gotta go see the captain. Here's your pay. What? Mm. Why do you gotta go see the captain? But now that there's land, land to call their own. They'll come back. My friends have already sent word. We're going to turn back the tide. You'll see. Okay. Hey, could you keep it down? Some of us are trying to fish here. <laughs> I never met someone that did the captain's dance before. You need it? The bait shop's got it. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. Yeah, what 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 is it? Bertha. Excuse me, ma'am. Smalls, we got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. Yeah, I did. I listen to Bertha. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. We gotta get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers. My friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. Surviving is about more than taming fog. We gotta stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land. Something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. Could this work? Did this really work? I don't see why not. And even if it doesn't, instead of starving on a pier, they die on their own land. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Well, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Now use the okay. Food in front, dock in back. The bait shop. What did you give me? 
This caps? Hey, Doc. Is this a social visit or is something alien? I'm good. All right, Avery, I'm gonna speak with you. Captain. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've, we've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it's all because of you. You're welcome. Well, you're welcome. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this, and thank you. Rescue diver suit? Wearer gains ability to breathe underwater and protection from radiation. I already can do that. Avery. I hope the harbor's being good to you. Although I can use this when I go to the, the main thing. Oh yeah, I can, right? Diver suit. I can use this when I go into the glowing sea. Yeah, 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 okay. You mind keeping an eye out for a second? I run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What did I miss? Uh, not much, really. Anyway, we gotta go to Acadia, actually. There's nothing else for us to do right here. We've already done everything there is to do in Far Harbor, right? Next stop is to, like, see what, uh... What's going to happen there? Talk to the people at Dalton Farm. I forgot to do that. <laughs> I completely forgot to talk to them. Oh, well, that's gonna have to wait. We gotta go visit Arcadia. Uh, which is actually not this way. It is kind of... The other way. A bit hungry, eh? I shall uh, give myself food then. I have no more food. Oh boy. I shall do what I can, but nothing else, nothing more. Can't get to my right. I hope I can manage that. How do I get up there now? Okay, Nick, this might be a little bit of a climb. So certainly a little bit of a climb, yes. Just, just jump. Thank you. Good, good. I'm almost there. We're pretty close to Arcadia now. We just need to gather our our thoughts and then proceed onward. Up I go. Alright, Nick, we're finally going to visit Arcadia. You excited? 
Uh, Nick? Oh, there you are. Come on. All right, there we go. Requires key. Have the key. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog. Oh, you have a blast, my gun. Myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I don't really care too much. What are you? What are you? I told you. I'm the old synth on the mountain. <laughs> I know the plastic skin and tubes out the back can be unsettling. But I want to ask you to look past that. Tell me why you're here and I'll try to help you. Uh, we're looking for Kasumi. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed. And you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a sin? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. You know Nick? Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Wait, memory? So you're telling me Nick will forget me at some point? But th then, does his personality still build around Nick Valentine? So he remember everything about Nick Valentine? But he remembers everything from when he woke up as a synth, though. Is he your brother? Nick. Is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can synths even be related? Because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. You really don't remember? Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this whole, there's only so much room up there argument? I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. He remembers things too far back for it to be the truth, right? We'll talk later we'll then. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. 
I know why she's here. If you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an It answer. doesn't matter whether she's a sin or not. Yeah, it Who doesn't matter. Is, is important. But it is. It's no, it's not. Everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these? Or were they manufactured? You say the None same thing about gender then. Transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. No, it's not a lie because it's still her life. Her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. But it doesn't matter. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Nope, Tell that me, is honestly the only reason. Are you a synth? How would I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But nope. ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? And here we go again. It does not matter whether you're human or synth. Like, what, what is that going to change? Like, let's say I say I'm a human or I say I'm a synth. What, what, how would I act depending on the answer? Because if I say I'm a synth, I would be like, oh, well, I'm a synth. If I'm human, I'll be like, oh, well, I'm a human. Like, like, as far as I know, I am. Maybe if I say I'm a synth, it'll be more like nice. You know? I don't know. I don't believe I'm a synth. Not for a second. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? Okay, th this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. N now, now. Now, here's why I think this is very bad of the developers to do. Now, first things first. One. Uh, th this is a video game. Now, I only remember the thing when the bombs dropped first because it's a video game and I don't have to play my entire life up until that point. Uh, now, now, second. What the heck does this have to do with Kasumi? I know that he's like a synth hideout, but I'm not interested in his with your words. stuff, technically. Admirable. Uh, and, 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 and third, it, it doesn't flipping matter if I'm a synth or not. But there's been no reason for me to be a synth besides I start in the beginning of the game with my family, because otherwise it would be a long and drawn out game. I was with my family. I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how feelings can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Now, listen here, buddy. Okay, if I was a synth, why would I wake up the exact same place as I remembered me going? Okay, that's point number one. Point number two. 
I had to kill Kellogg. Kellogg was working for the Institute. Okay. Three. I may be the sole survivor of a vault, but it also there's proof in the terminals that I was kept alive in there and that my life signs were uh, were, were present. Uh, was that point number two? I th point number three. Uh, when I woke up, my wife was there. So she's not a memory. She was there Thank in the vault. Know. And if I go back to the vault, she should still be there. So I know for a fact that my character is not a synth. But I cannot explain why the game is all meta all of a sudden. It's like, can you remember anything before the beginning of the game? I'm like, how would I? Like, like wh where is Kasumi? I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Uh, I'm in the railroad. I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the there is no cause you get to live as a human because there's no way to identify the, the difference. Capture, but sacrificing what you are you don't Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life what do you mean not knowing what we like like it would be the same as me getting my memory um overridden because i'm a dane and i travel to america now, would I want my my memory of being a Dane, I don't know, like experimented on by the government or whatever? Uh, or do I want to start fresh in another country where I don't remember what I had before the things? It's like when you're a baby, you remember your past life if you believe in like the, the whole circle of life thing. If you believed in your other life and this life is worse, wouldn't you Are become you miserable? All right. I still don't get your argument. Your arguments make no sense. You're, you're literally like, I am a synth and I don't want to be anything else because I am I'm racist against humans in a certain way. It's like, yes, you have the right to be a synth, but they, they want their memories overridden so the Institute can't find them. If they say no, then we don't help them. So we protect synths. Ideals aren't going to protect escaped synths. Exactly. We do what we have to do. I know that's what you think. I just... No. No, I shouldn't judge. Yes, you shouldn't judge. I'm over here, far from the Commonwealth. In relative safety. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? At least he has the decency to... to instead of being all good at two-shoes and never get his hands dirty, he has other people doing it for me. He strikes me as that kind of type, you know, where, like, he has ideals he wants to act on. But he never does them. He just tells people what are the best options, but he never thinks about, like, how hard those options could be. Like, uh, he, could he save the sense himself? He just tells people to come to the refuge, right? What's your story? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago, hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task. No false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave. Just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe... I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Oh, Dima is your name. I just realized that. So you remember everything, but then what the heck was the whole thing about your memory being limited? Is that because you're looking like that? So you're all synths here. So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could. Or they were victims of a mind wipe. 
and we revealed the truth. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? God, how stupid could you be? They could live normally in the Commonwealth and Diamond City as humans. Instead, you pull them out to a place filled with synths, by the way. Which makes you a huge target. A very huge target. God, I, like, they should do, like, in Fallout 3, where they have a code that can give them the memories bag, if that's really necessary. If they really want their memories bag at some point. And then they if they say fine. they don't want it, then they can just, like, remove them again. I don't know, but the, the whole idea of this is just ridiculous. What about Acadia? So everyone here in Acadia... I just asked that sense. question. Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the... Sure. Nothing else. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Wait, Dr. Too. Faraday. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Dr. Faraday. Where have I heard Dr. Faraday before? Dr. Faraday. Faraday. Dr. Faraday. Who is Dr. Faraday? I remember that name. Hey, so you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. You've got very pointy ears. Like, very turned ears, I guess. So you're a synth, huh? So you're a synth. I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima no, has why would that be a problem? A place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Well, do, do you all do all this yourself or do you get help? You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Fog condensers, then. What, what do you need help with them? Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Uh -huh. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Well, I can thank you for what happened. Okay. What about D Dima's augments? Uh, did you do that? Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. Oh, so you expand his memory so he can recover he's memory? so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Yes, he still doesn't do anything worthy. Uh, I would like to offer you my help. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. A the boat, boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? Southwest? What happened? Oh, is it the burnt one? I've been there. What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sure, I can do it. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Chase, huh? I can talk to Chase before I end the video. Sure. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible, 
but thankfully she was never in any real danger. Why would I do I'm quietly? The journey was unnecessary. Think you could do it better? So you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition. Yes, absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth aided. I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? No matter what you say, I don't trust you. That's not how it works. You don't force them to come here. How do you manage to track down sense and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. Isn't that I know dangerous? The Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing. So by all means, make yourself comfortable. What is your story? So what's your story? I used to work for the Institute. Returning synths that had escaped. Is synth call Corsair? Isn't that what Dima. they're called? He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. Okay. Uh, did you need something? Y yes. What about Acadia? Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's wow. as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. Okay, I want to help. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. So what's the problem? What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Lost. Aren't you supposed to help them with that? God, they're, they're flipping. You guys don't know what you're doing. Any leads? Do you have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without He's one of us. A synth. Me. If he doesn't cooperate... Tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Why don't you say his name? Like, like, this is the issue I have with these people. You all refer to each other as synths and stuff, sure. But the more you consider yourself different from someone else, the more I'm starting to not like you guys. You're no better than humans, and the humans are no better than you. So if you guys just stop referencing yourselves as synths, synths and started living with the humans, because you're pretty much humans, just with technological, biological parts in you, right? You still age, you still die eventually. There's the only difference is that you're based on someone who's dead. So ridiculous. He's yes. one of us. Yeah, as long as you're Couldn't you all work together to survive on the island? Hope oh, you don't mind me stealing stuff, by the way. Uh, I don't think he would appreciate me heading into this terminal. I was just saying, by the way, you, 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 sorry, I'm forced to call you synths. You synths, you're kind of forcing people to hate you now. You may be thinking, how is that shit? But, well, uh, people in the Commonwealth, they don't trust synths. That's why the railroad tries to refresh their memories or replace their memories and stuff like that. To make sure everything goes smoothly and they can live properly and, and like a normal human could. What if word comes out somehow because this lady is like talking with old institute stuff. What if it suddenly comes out that oh there's this place with filled with sins and they send a shite ton of Corsairs over here and kill everyone. All sins that have escaped in one place. Suddenly now in the side of the institute. This place is huge, by the way. Katie is far away enough from the 
institute that we don't have to worry, right? No, you still have to worry, because apparently your people still have connections with the institute that they use to find other synths. Jules Luckbox. Well, we'll explore this more in the next video. You probably have you know what my opinion on this place is now. I, I don't hate it per se, but I don't like the idea of them doing this. First of all, they're undoing the work the railroad does. Second of all, they're bringing all the synths to a very dangerous place. Because remember, the fog is out there and it kills people. And these guys can die from the fog as much as any other human can. So ridiculous. Not only that, but they tried to call me a synth too. It's just so ridiculous. I don't mind being a synth if I'm a synth. Come on. Everything connects. There's no hole in my memory per se. Except for the fact that I was cryogenically frozen. That's the only hole that you can see in, in the memory. And, and of course the past that I didn't even get to see in the game. So, so okay, game developers trying to call us a scent all of a sudden. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If they consider liking and subscribing, hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.